Hey guys, my name is Janelle McClarty, the owner of EncoreWebsites.com, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add, remove, and edit menu items in your Shopify websites. So I'm going to click over to a Shopify site. This is for a nonprofit, and here is their menu. So you have home, shop, support, sponsor, and a link to their actual website. Homepage that's not the shop website and this is the header menu area then when you scroll down here this is the footer menu which is just one item but it's a search um, menu item which is important I'm gonna show you a more typical how a typical menu looks so here's another site um, you have a typical header menu which is up here um, you see home shop about contact and then when you scroll to the bottom Here's another menu, which is called a footer menu. So you have home, shop, about, blog, contact, but then you have quick links over here. So links to the dashboard, store list, privacy policy, terms. So things that you just don't want to clutter up the main menu area, you would put in the footer area. Um, and they have to be important links to click to so that you can navigate around the site easily. So that is what a menu is. I'm gonna show you how to edit a menu um, within Shopify. So we have to head on over to the back end of the Shopify website. If you do not know how to log into your Shopify, I will link a video to that. So I'm gonna just jump over right now. This is the back end of the site we were just looking at for black initiatives. And in order to access your menu area, you'd have to click on your online store and then you're gonna go down a few items to navigation. And then we're gonna see here your menus. So it says right here, menus or link lists, help your customers navigate around your online store. So right here, this is where we see the footer menu. Remember we saw that little search area. I'm gonna just pop back over. This is the front end of the site. You see the search bar or search item on our footer. And then right here, we have our main menu, which has home, shop, support, sponsor, and black initiatives. And that's what we see right here. So I'm going to add some more menu items to our footer area, because it does look a little bare. So in order to do that, we're gonna click on footer menu. Right now we see search, and then we see add menu item. I'm gonna click on add menu item. What is the name of the menu item we're going to add? Um, I think I want to add a shop button. And then where is this, um, where is this menu item going to go? We just click here and we can make it go either to our homepage, um, search like the first one does already, but we want it to go to our, let's say, products. Do we want it to go to all products? So we want the customer to click on it and have access to all our products so they can shop. And then we're gonna hit add. Once we add that menu item, we have search, shop, and this is for our footer menu. We're going to hit save menu. That is a button that many people forget to click and they wonder why is their menu not working or showing up? And it's because you forgot to hit save probably. We're gonna jump over to the front end of the website and this is what we see here. We're gonna hit refresh to see the changes we've just made. And there we go. So we have search and we have shop. I'm gonna click on shop and see if it goes to all our products. And yes, it does. All right. And, and next I'm gonna show you how to, let's say, edit your menu area. So we added an item. So we added the shop area. So I'm gonna go back to the back end, and what if I want to add, hmm, let's say collections. And it's gonna to go to our, all our collections. We're gonna add that, but let's say I want this to be in alphabetical order, and I want collections to be first, search to be second and shop to be third. So you see what I did there? I just held on to the little 
area right here and I can drag it to wherever I would want each menu item to be. So if I want search first, shop second, collections last, I just drag it like that. Or in this case, I want collections first and then search and then shop. And then don't forget to hit save. And then we're gonna go to the front end, hit refresh, and there we go. We have collections first, search, and then shop. So that is how you rearrange and move things around. And let's say I wanted to delete a menu item. So let's say I don't need um, this collections menu item anymore. That's very straightforward. You just hit the delete button. It's going to ask you, are you sure? You're going to say yes and remove it. And don't forget to hit save after you do that. I actually want to keep this menu. So I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to keep it as is because I do think it was looking a little bare down here with just the search. So we're going to have collection, search, and shop. Um, then I want to jump over to the main menu to show you pretty much this is pretty much the same thing, but it's just more menu items. Um, I want to show you a type of menu item that was added here. So Black Initiatives, when you click on edit, this menu item actually goes to the company's main website, even though this is their shop website. Um, when you click on this, it's an external link that jumps over to the website of the nonprofit, right? So not only can you link menu items to actual pages within your Shopify site or actual products and collections, you can link it to external URL, URL links as well. So I'm gonna go through this. So see here we have the homepage option, search collections, products, pages, we can link it to a blog or blog posts. Um, we have a page that was created called Policies. So not only, as I said, you can link it to a specific page or product or item or collection within your Shopify. Um, you can link a menu item to an actual URL. You just take it, copy, and paste it. You click there and then it's going to you apply the change and then as soon as you save this menu item and you go to your actual store once you click on this it's going to jump over to the actual URL that you input in there see all right so I hope this helps you when it comes to making or rearranging or editing or removing menu items from your Shopify website. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments section down below. Um, I will be making another video on WordPress, so how to edit, um, remove, and add menu items to your WordPress website. This video is for Shopify. Um, I will link that below as well. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.